Well, hello everybody. I uh, thought I'd just do a little quick little update. Just the first part of uh, December here. Um, haven't really been able to do anything on the bus because uh, of the weather, but I have done some troubleshooting on this cooling system and uh, come up with uh, what I'm pretty sure is the problem with the uh, with the fans. Um, I thought I'd just share that with you. Um, we have a couple of shipping containers in this yard here we're using for uh, a little bit of a shop so hopefully I can work on the interior here in a little bit um, but I fired it up uh, it was minus 9 Celsius the other day and uh, I fired it up with uh, without using the block heater or anything uh, just had to crank it for you know 30 seconds let it sit for 30 seconds and you know build a little bit of heat and then crank it some more did that a half a dozen times and it, it, it finally fired up so I was pretty happy with that um, these things don't start all that easily when in the <laughs> in the cold weather but it uh, fired up pretty good um, anyways these uh, <laughs> of course <laughs> Uh, I never really thought this through all that well. Uh, I guessed I'm just in a hurry and I never uh, really thought it all the way through. Um, but the, uh, as if you guys have been, watching, you have been watching this uh, for a while, you know that I have a 24 volt to 12 volt buck converter that I'm running all the uh, 12 volt systems off of. And the fans are part of that. But what I never took into consideration and, and uh, you know, just didn't think about uh, enough is that uh, it's, you know, these systems are supposed to run on 13.8 volt to 14 volts, you know, somewhere in that neighborhood as opposed to 12. So, uh, as well as the, you know, I, I don't know, I just never thought of it, thought it through, I guess. Uh, the, the line, the wire that I have it connected to, um, because the buck converter is at the front is uh, is only 10 gauge so you know and I never really thought about it because the, these fans uh, pull 28 amps per set so you know 50 what's that 58 amps of 12 volt and I, I did the con I, I did the uh, you know the calculations and uh, it should be a one aught cable coming back here not a 10 gauge so uh, when I put a voltmeter on them when they were running um, it was only seeing six volts so uh, I put a I, I put a 13.8 volt uh, like a 24 to 13.8 volt buck converter up at the front and now it's seeing 10 and a half volts back here but even that's not obviously not enough so what I'm gonna do I've actually got the parts ordered I'm going to put a 13.8 uh, converter right at the back here. So I'll probably put it, um, I haven't got it yet, but I'll, uh, you know, once it gets here, I'll install it. But so I'll put it in this electrical box. All the electrical stuff's in behind here. I think I'll install it in there, um, run it off the post right off the uh, right off the alternator 24 volt there uh, through a, a you know a circuit breaker and then and then the, the lines are only going to be what six or eight feet long should be uh, should be uh, quite, quite a bit better um, the the uh, I could tell even at the ten and a half volts um, I can tell I could tell there's quite a bit more air going through these radiators. Uh, you can hear it moving through. You could feel it before. If you put your hand here, you could feel it pulling the air through it, but you couldn't hear it. And and now even at 10 and a half volts, uh, you can you can hear it coming through there. So I'm sure it, you know, when I get full voltage there, it's going to pull a crap load more air. Um, so I'm going to put that on. I'm also going to put a another 16 inch fan on the outside, um, one on each side and uh, that should also help as well get more airflow through it uh, and I you know I considered I just ran out of time when I was doing this down there at the coast so uh, you know I wondered about um, you know about uh, air 
part of the problem being air circulating back and pulling hot air through the through the radiators and uh, one of my subscribers um, John Matthews he's got a he's had a bus for vintage bus for you know, over 30 years he's pretty pretty knowledgeable in on old buses and uh, you know his uh, his one of his comments and I, I believe he's probably correct and I had considered you know this being a possible part of the problem is um, you know because this is all open there's no there's no skin on here as well as back here it's quite possible some of the hot air was circulating back through at high speeds you know uh, you know at highway speeds uh, it's not over, doesn't overheat and I think you know there's just enough air moving past it to um, uh, you know that it's not a problem but at lower speeds that air it's quite possible some of that air is just circulating back through and is pulling hot air through the through the radiators another potential problem is this the exhaust exits right here so you know it's quite possible the the exhaust is just getting pulled up into this radiator so I'm going to eliminate all those uh, problems I'm going to you know I'll, I'll skin this in obviously it needs to be done anyways but uh, you know I'll skin that in I'm putting battery boxes back here so I'm sorry not battery boxes toolboxes back here so um, you know I'll get that all uh, skinned up and uh, these vents here or louvers close they open and close and um, so I'll close those up um, yeah, and, and hopefully, you know, eliminate all these potential problems, and I think it'll, uh, I think it'll make a big difference. Um, hoping, anyways. Uh, you know, before I abandon this whole electric uh, uh, completely, um, one another uh, uh, subscriber, I can't remember his name, but he, uh, and he said that uh, some of the newer MCIs are uh, they're running electric fans and he sent me some pictures of one that he's uh, working on and it's uh, it's got eight 10 inch fans and that seems to be enough to cool it so uh, these from what I could see uh, 10 inch electric fans pull about a thousand CFM somewhere in that neighborhood so that would be 8,000 CFM uh, these ones at proper voltage theoretically it's too dark in there to see really but anyways they pull uh, a 6,000 per side so that's 12,000 CFM I'm gonna put a couple more fans on here and I don't know how much they you know they're another there'll be another 6,000 between them how much it's gonna actually uh, increase it I don't know because you know it's already pulling air through it so I don't know whether it'll actually you know, a net gain is actually going to be another 6,000 CFM, but it'll, you know, it's going to help anyways. So, anyhow, uh, that's my story at this point. Um, I'm uh, just going to take and fire up, I'm going to get a little generator and uh, I'm going to fire that up and, and uh, power, power the inverter up and charge the batteries back up and um, keep them charged up. And uh, I'm going to fire this thing back up again and, and uh, run it, warm it up, just kind of keep everything, everything working. So anyway, just a, bit, a little bit of a, uh, a quick update on, like I say, I haven't been able to do a heck of a lot, but um, I'm, uh, hopefully it's not going to get too st stupid cold this winter and I can uh, put some heat on the inside and, and do some more working inside. And if I do, I'll, I'll video that as well. The, uh, the old MC5 is up on the top of the hill up there. You just barely see it. That's where I'm living now. This is a storage yard. Basically right across the street from my the RV parks that my folks are in. They didn't go south this year, so uh, you can't really see it. But anyway, this is a crossover there. Uh, and that's about it. Anyways. More later.